हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू की फ्रेम्स ऑनलाइन आई एम अभिषेक इनामदार वेलकम टू माई न्यू ट्यूटोरियल न्यू वीडियो ऑन वेरी बेसिक असाइनमेंट इन थ्री डी मैक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई लव शो वेरी बेसिक वॉल्स हाउ टू टू द बेसिक वॉल्स एंड रूफ्स विद डोर्स विंडोज एंड विद मटीरियल्स एंड विद बेसिक मटीरियल्स एंड ऑफकोर्स द स्काई लाइट लाइटिंग एंड एडिंग अ कैमरा so this is the camera and uh, with with the help of autocad plans uh, like this we have achieved this one so by adding camera we will getting the result something like this so i'm excited to share the, the knowledge of this tutorial with you so let's get started with the first lesson so this is my drawing in autocad i'll first uh, organize uh, all these drawings in particular layer so this is the front elevation this is the left and this is the top elevation a top plan so whatever you don't require you just delete it first i don't require text i am deleting don't require i am deleting and this is a hatch and 3d max doesn't read the hatch and also the dash lines so i don't want this particular hatch and these are the dashed lines so 3d max doesn't read that so rather than vanishing off i'll just go on and and by layer this is the roof uh behind this wall this is a wall and behind this this is a roof these are the four windows and this is a door is a simple basic plan this is a left view and here again i don't want this brick hatch and still this is the roof coming uh, out from the wall side this is the roof and i'll go and say by layer again i'm selecting this i'm deleting it this is a chacha coming outside in this hatch i don't want and you can of course go and off the line width say x this is a polyline i want to explode it i'm pressing x on my keyboard and enter selecting the line and say this one in selecting this one and drag this point to this so there is no harm to keep this line but uh, i don't want any line to be good outside the drawing let's press x for explode selecting this one this one fine now i'll go to layer palette now i'll uh, say purge p u r g purge first because i don't want unwanted layers so layers dimension styles all purge all purge all items fine so i'll go into layers l a enter i'm making layer i'm saying 3d say top enter again i'm making 3d say front again third layer 3d left ft left so now this three layers will have this three respective drawings selecting left and drag into left front should be go in front selecting the top then go in top so now i'll just save my file now i'll go to 3d max and i'll import these three uh, drawings in 3d max and then we'll see what will happen i'll just pause my video now say import selecting uh, the drawing then i'm selecting the format that is legacy 
AutoCAD. I'll say open. First of all, uh, very sorry for this one. I have to save this one. I have to save this one and uh, in layer palette one by one I will I'll make this current I'll say invert layers invert selections I don't want other layers to visible so this time I only import top plan going to 3d max say import DGC, I'll say open. Uh, I don't want all these things. Weld, auto smooth, and unify normal. And derive object by layer. I will select it. I'll say okay. So this is my top. Again, I'm going to AutoCAD layer palette. Left will be on, and this will be current. Now I'll say only save. I'm going to 3D Max again. Say Import. Say Open. Say OK. And say OK. So here is left. Again, I'm going to AutoCAD. Layer Palette. Front. Only front I want. Say just save it. I'm going to 3D Max say import so all these three are here in 3d max so we'll start uh, first with front I'll, I'll on this angle snap uh, it makes uh, your uh, drawings very straight in angles you will uh, not chitter here and there so I'll just go and say rotate straight in 90 degree so all these three I'll just say go down right now we don't want any disturbance I'm pressing alt W to maximize my viewport I'll press G to get rid of this grid I'm taking shapes and so here's a spline line and I'm taking 2.5 snap I want to snap this thing uh, right click I'll choose only endpoint and I want snap to frozen object but right now it's not frozen so what will happen if you not freeze the plan if we move uh, it will be moved any, anywhere somewhere so the best practice will choose to freeze the plan so this one I'm select the, selecting the plan uh, elevation right click I'll say freeze but now it's going gray I don't want this I'm going to undo going to display I'll say show frozen gray off so don't make this gray when I'll freeze it so I'll now I'll just freeze this plan so now it's fine just on 2.5 cell line start with this point this one say close yes and start new shape off I want uh, this windows 1 2 3 4 and this door just stop this rectangle just go to modify I'll just test it go to extrude say any amount to just see what it happens now it's perfect we have done it so now go back to wireframe Again, I'll take line, the roof. What happened? 
second point third point let's go to modify say extrude in this plan we will be uh, doing lot more of extrude so what we'll do is we'll make a shortcut over here let's say configure modify set just I want just only two buttons one is extrude I'll press E extrude I'll drag this extrude over here and say little spline say ok so right click and show buttons so we don't have to go again and again in modify list just press my S on my keyboard to just off my snap I'll go to top so here it is uh, just make any extra amount it's not matter right now just we have to see it how it's performing say 150 uh, this is wall and this is a roof make the naming roof this will be a wall so this one and say 50 so we can at least see from the top Now in this case I won't uh, be placing all this thing over here. I'll just move this plan to this position. So right now I don't know what is the width of the wall. So we'll measure it. I'll say press S on my keyboard. This is a snap tool. This is very important to snap while measuring the uh, drawings in max so this is how we can measure it the length is 230 and I'll just delete this box I'll press again my snap selecting the wall I want to select the wall say 230 230 so selecting this plan I'll press S on my keyboard so this is how we have managed to perfect align the wall selecting the roof so this is the roof right now we don't know what's a, a roof a length and you no know, so we can just measure it from from over here this is the roof line so in next part we'll uh, start off with the roof uh, if you liked my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so i can make for you so thanks for watching my tutorial meet you in second part thank you